This is not a kid-friendly show. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, my dudes? Welcome to another RuneScape News coverage video. So today we're going to go over the drop rates for next Angel of Death as well as Tello. So without any further ado, let's just jump right into the post. He says... Hey everyone, today's the first day of the release drop rates and we've decided to put two together to make up for not releasing one last week. And without a shadow of a doubt, there are some of the most requested drop rates we have in game. Today, we bring you Next Angel of Death and Telos. Next Angel of Death. The amount of players that you kill next with has an impact on the drop chance for the unique items but not the cosmetic chests. The chance decreases massively if there are more than the intended group size in the fight. The chance with 7 people. There's a 1 in 1000 chance for a unique item like one of the appraisal or Imperium Core. 1 in 250 chance for appraisal codex only if you failed the unique roll. So 1 in 5000 chance for an intricate chest. The chance with 8 or more people. Only the top 7 are eligible for a unique drop. 1 in 5,000 chance of a unique item like one of the Praisal or Imperium Core, 1 in 250 chance of Praisal Codex, only if he fails a unique roll, and 1 in 5,000 chance for an intricate chest. Now moving on to Telos. While saluting Telos, your current streak and enrage that you fought Telos at has an impact at the chance of looting the unique items. The higher your streak and or your enrage, you have a greater chance at getting a unique item. However, at 100 enrage, you have a 1 tenth worse chance for unique items and under 25 enrage, that chance is further reduced by a third. Not only that, the higher enrage and or streak you are, the greater chance at better regular loot you have too. The higher you are, the greater chance of drops like onyx bolt tips, uncut onyxes, and crystal keys you'll have. Don't forget, whilst equipping Luck of the Dwarves, you have the potential to see a different loot list than you would without. The reason for this is that Luck of the Dwarves effectively adds 25 enrage worth of better loot chances and also has a chance to add extra pieces of regular loot too. One question that we see a lot is this, which is better to me to get a unique drop, a higher enrage or a better streak? Streak is a much greater modifier than enrage is in the Telos formula, meaning that if you wanted to get unique drops, then the best thing to do is to get a higher streak. A greater streak will give you a better chance than a high rage, low streak kill. And due to the sensitive nature and volatility in Telos' drops, we won't be revealing the full formula in which Telos determines their unique drops, but will instead give you a few examples to demonstrate how it works. We've decided to go with the key milestone examples to make sure they're relatable. Streak 1 in Rage 100, you have a 1 and 263 chance of unique drop. Streak 1 in Rage 500, you have a 1 in 72 chance of unique drop. Streak 5 in Rage 200, you have a 1 in 133 chance of unique drop. Streak 1 in Rage 999, you have a 1 in 38 chance of unique drop. Streak 1 in Rage 1024, you have a 1 in 37 chance of unique drop. If you roll a unique drop on Telos, these are the drop chances for the unique items. 75 out of 115 chance of an anima orb, the next one in the sequence. 10 out of 115 chance of a dormant Saren Godbo. 10 out of 115 chance of a dormant Staff of Sliske. 10 out of 115 chance of a dormant Zaros Godsword. And 10 out of 115 chance of Reprisal Ability Codex. I hope that you've gotten some insight into the drop rates for these bosses and understand a bit more about them. Next week we'll be taking a look at Araxor, Rise of the Six, and Calvite King. Mod Timbo and the RuneScape team. So that's it for the video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed and you want to stay updated on all things RuneScape related, then hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. I'm out. Peace.